What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to G Ball Vision. Today, I have for you guys a double unboxing to dig into. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. So, we have a double unboxing to get to. Now, I did take these out of the mailer uh, because there was more than one item in it. Uh, we had quite a few items. Now, I don't know if the other unboxing of the items that was in there is public yet. So, we'll hold off on giving you guys too much. So, we got two boxes here. Let's take a look at this first one. We have off-grid knives coming in yet again. We have the Cayman XL, and this thing has really had my attention for the last couple of weeks. And off-grid said they would send a couple of these in for us to take a look at and take out and test. And I said I would be more than happy to do so. So this is the Cayman XL. This one's going to be coming in red and black G Mascus. They have a couple of different styles and configurations. We have one other one that we can take a look at. This thing is perfectly centered. Let's take a look at this blade. Oh man, I, I've been saying it guys for the last couple months at this point. Every functional aspect of off-grid knives that I have had into the channel. And at this point, I think I've had eight or 10 folders and five or six fixed blades at this point, maybe even a little bit more on both ends. Everything has been just so well done, guys, from the finishing work all the way around to the edges right out of the box to the detents being absolutely perfect. Uh, having great access to the liners or lock bars, just having nice controlled drop shot action. I think almost every single knife that I've had in or seen is mounted or tooled so that lefties can switch the clip over and carry it lefty. Or if you like to carry a knife lefty, uh, which I've been considering, they recess the pocket clip here along with the screws, nice clean looking clip. We have a geared backspacer along with some gearing on each of the G10 scales, blacked out hardware. The blade is going to be one fit. Oh no, it's 14C. This is the one they did in 14C. It's not 154 cm so this is going to be 14 c which is just fine with me uh i love off grids 154 it's been spectacular and i don't think we will expect anything less when it comes to the 14 c now this is going to be the xl model so it's going to be a considerable good size we'll do a, a full overview and whatnot and dive into more of the knife here coming up. But here you can see we're getting four inches of blade, about three and I don't know, fifth. Well, I guess that's like 13, 16, maybe seven eighths, three and seven eighths, we'll call it. And then just shy of nine and a quarter overall. So this is certainly a big boy, but I can say. This thing is ultra comfortable, guys. Everything is rounded over very nicely. We have some big pockets in there for milling, for weight relief on both sides. We have great access to that liner there with a nice big chamfer. And right out of the box, it'll drop to your nail. And then just a couple of light shakes. And this thing will go all the way home. Listen to this detent here. Listen to this, guys. This is crazy. Nice and stout. Uh, just a great job all the way around. Like I said, guys, every single one has been great to carry, ergonomic. They have a ton of different blade shapes. We have this clip point here on this one, and this is my first experience with this uh, clip point blade coming from Off Grid, and it's a great. It's a nice low clip point. Look how low that thing is. That is just crazy. So it's still going to make it 
pretty useful because it is it is upswept a little bit, but it's so low that you'll be able to, you know, maybe not as easy as a worn cliff or a sheep's foot, but you'll be able to get use that little bit of belly here into this real fine tip for some very good precision work. And then you have that flipper there that's going to kind of act like the guard for you. And there is plenty of handle there, guys, to move all the way around on this thing. Tons of different places you can kind of grip this however you would need to. Uh, this is a, another fantastic knife. We'll know more on the pricing and whatnot in the overview. But I can say these are going to be, you know, probably at $100 or under. And I'm going to guess maybe 80 to 90 somewhere in that ballpark. They like to do things between like, say 60 and 90. And then they have a couple models that are in that 110 mark. So we have another fold top magnetic box here coming in that nice foam in a plastic baggie there. And this one is going to be the completely murdered out version, if you will, the all black G10, black hardware, and that black washed clip point blade. Nice row of jimping there, and they actually extend it out pretty good there, so it's actually worth doing. Uh, I, I Even going all the way up to this crown here would have been even just that that much better, but at least it's ran up for you know the most part, and you still have some nice grippage there if you are all the way at the top of this. And I think companies will start to come around on that as far as jimping and it running a lot further up that spine. It really doesn't do anything to the aesthetic, in my opinion. I mean, it looks like it's supposed to be there, that it's part of the knife, and it provides a, a lot of function. I will take this whole thing being jimped and what it looks like for that function all day long. And we're going to have a lot of or the exact same characteristics on this guy. Going to be coming in 14C, 28N yet again. And this one even feels, yeah, this one feels even a little bit more broken in. And this is what all of them have done over time with break-in. Or they've come basically right out of the box just like this. But you have that nice controlled drop shut action. It's not that real loosey goosey where it just falls closed. Uh, and not that that's bad all the time, you know, but you can tell some knives it feels kind of cheapy cheap. And then others, it's like this thing is broken in so good. All the bearings and whatnot have been completely broken in. So everything is nice and smooth. And this one has just a touch better action than the red and black G Mascus. This one is doing all the work on its own, dropping right home, nice and smooth. Why don't we go ahead and we'll check the edges on both of these. Before we do that, we will check to see what they look like in the pocket here. They have nice deep carry clips there. They use a couple of different clips, and I think it depends on, you know, when the knife itself came out. I've seen a couple different iterations, and I think they've kind of just redesigned it a couple of different times. But even dating back to some of their version one models, it even that one was very well done and just fine with me. And then they've went through a couple different ones as time has went on. But another thing that they do is the pocket clips that they do, not only do they work real good in and out of the pocket, there's a nice amount of retention there, but they feel good in the hand as well. You don't typically, you're going to feel the pocket clip you know, in your hand naturally, just because that's the way it is. But does it bother your hand is the question. And in every case of off-grid knives that I've had in, the, the handles are just so well done. They're at that right width and thickness and everything that goes into making a good handle, they typically always nail it. 
and and this is the the same type of case here very comfortable and there's plenty of handle here where if say you know this grip isn't comfortable for whatever reason you might be in that grip you can kind of choke up very nicely here and get basically completely away from that clip there which is pretty nice you only be on this little hoop here you know depending on the size of your hand of course if you have smaller hands medium or large hands you will have a ton of room on that handle uh, xl or double xl hands you know i have xl size hands and i fit very very comfortably on the handle so you could get some meaty paws on this thing no question and be very very comfortable so let's see what kind of edges came on these guys and like i've been saying since the start of the video and like i've said in many other videos i have no doubt in my mind these are going to come with a very very nice edge and that one has a beautiful edge just a they do such a good job guys and uh they're already on the map so to speak but i know a lot of people they they just don't get a ton of play and because you know and it depends on the reviewer that you watch of course or the creator that you watch but a lot of channels are about you know what's the newest thing what's the newest and latest and greatest type thing uh and that's really about it let's unbox it and you know that's kind of the end for that knife uh these knives are not that new uh they're fairly recent but not that new but one thing i like to you know and i like the newest and greatest thing but that's not all i want to focus on either i want to focus on also good functional knives because that's what we're here for the tools we're here for the tools themselves and what kind of tools can we get from each company at what price point and you know kind of what's the the best option for you and you know if you are looking for a functional knife that's going to do everything that a knife is supposed to do cut be carried easily be comfortable in hand you know come out of the box with a decent to excellent edge and all those types of things stay locked up under most you know normal circumstances then off-grid knives is an excellent company to take a look at they have a ton of different blade shapes you know different sizes all the way down to like two and a half inch blades up to like four inch or more uh blades similar to these guys here and then they have a ton of different price points. So they, they kind of have a great spot in that like 50 to $110 range. And they also have some more premium ended knives that are absolutely incredible as well. I had the pleasure of handling one of their Scorpion Elite Series knives. Why don't we go ahead and we'll check the lock on one of these and see how it does. One thing we didn't check on this one was, is it centered? And yes, it's perfectly centered. And that's another thing. All of them have come nicely centered. Now, even though this is a coated blade with a coated liner, I've had plenty from off-grid and we're sitting about 35% or so on that liner. And that's a great spot to be in. Uh, I don't think we're going to have any issues anywhere. They're just solid, guys. Um, I wouldn't be saying it if they wasn't. They are absolutely solid all the way around as a company. And they just do a fantastic job. I will have these linked down below along with a plethora of other off-grid knives in a bunch of different price points. Now, if you do use the links for the off-grid knives, they do help the channel out all that money goes right back in to the channel if there is any money made from those 
uh, but that's entirely up to you. You could easily go over to Amazon and pick these up and have them fairly quickly. Uh, and I would have no qualms about doing that myself. Uh, but if you want to support the channel and get yourself a great knife, Off Grid Knives, guys, is a great company. Wouldn't steer you wrong in this case. Uh, find a blade shape you like, find a size you like, and pick it up, and you will not be disappointed. I put the uh, old G-Ball Vision stamp of approval on that. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys, especially on these newer knives, or just let me know what you have in the pocket today. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new here or you've been here before and you're still not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you on the next one. And huge shout out to Off Grid for sending these in. Peace.